Welcome everybody. Today we're going to talk about piloting skill roles, which can sometimes be intimidating to new and returning tabletop Battletech players. They're one of those things that people have lingering questions about, so help is on the way, shall we? In Battletech, a wide variety of situations, actions, and events could force the mech warrior to use his or her skill to prevent their battle mech from falling to the ground. Sometimes it's running on unstable or otherwise treacherous ground. Other times it's taking so much damage in a single turn that your mech becomes unexpectedly unbalanced. Still, other times your mech is kicked, pushed, or shoved by another battle mech. How rude. The famed piloting skill roll is how you determine if a mech warrior is successful at staying on their mech's feet. When you do it, and what numbers you use to modify your to hit roll depend upon the phase of the turn and what is going on when the roll is called for. The table for determining what requires a piloting skill roll and what the modifiers are can be found in various rule books, your battle mech manual, compendium, and elsewhere. In the movement phase, piloting skill rolls may be necessary when your mech warrior moves their mech into a hex with specific types of terrain. For example, moving into a hex with heavy jungle requires a roll with a plus two modifier. If the mech warrior has a piloting skill of four, that would mean a six plus is required to keep the mech from falling down as a result of entering that hex. While achieving that 6+, plus might not be too difficult, each additional heavy jungle hex will require an additional roll. The important thing to note, no matter what the modifier is, is that rolls during this phase are taken immediately when the action is taken. Unlike the movement phase, piloting skill rolls during the attack phases, weapon, and physical are made at the end of the phase in which the attacks are made. All the modifiers resulting from damage that phase are added. These rolls can pile up during the phase and result in multiple rolls at the end. For example, this Timberwolf and Bushwhacker are having a feisty disagreement over who owns this piece of property. During the weapon attack phase, the Bushwhacker does a cumulative 22 damage to the Timberwolf and manages to score a critical hit on the right leg actuator. This will require rolling two piloting skill checks, one for the busted actuator and one for the 20 plus damage. The Timberwolf's mech warrior has a piloting skill of four, which means it needs to take a piloting skill roll of four plus one for taking over 20 damage, plus another one for the critical on the leg actuator. Luckily for the Timberwolf, the rolls were an 8 and a 10, so the Timberwolf did not fall at the end of the weapons phase. In the resulting physical attack phase, the Timberwolf is kicked by the Bushwhacker and also kicked by this urban mech that came out of nowhere and scored a critical hit on the Timberwolf's foot actuator. Since the Timberwolf takes more than 20 damage during the physical attack phase, that will factor into the piloting skill roll. The total number of rolls will be four, one for each of the kicks, one for the 20 plus physical damage, and one for the critical on the actuator. The modified piloting skill number for each of these three rolls will be the original piloting skill of four, plus one for the existing leg actuator critical from the weapons phase, plus one from the new critical on the foot actuator, plus one for the 20 points of additional damage. That's four piloting skill rolls that need seven plus to be successful. Three out of the four rolls are successful, but the fourth is a five, so the Timberwolf will fall and have to take additional damage as a result. There are a few extra times when a piloting skill roll is necessary. In the case when a mech is pushed into a new hex due to pushing, charging, or a death from above attack, a roll needs to be taken. For the push, it's a plus zero modifier to the roll, plus whatever existing modifiers or hex modifiers might exist. For charging and death from above attacks, it's a plus two. For example, if this Ebon Jaguar charges the Urban Mech with a pre-existing gyro hit and knocks it back into a hex containing sand, the Urban Mech's Mech Warrior is going to have to roll her piloting skill of 5 plus 2 for the charge, plus 3 for the pre-existing gyro hit, and plus 1 for entering the sand hex. That's a spicy 11 for the plucky little Urban Mech. Good luck, buddy. Additionally, rolls for consciousness and damage to the mech warrior are made immediately and take precedence over any other piloting skill rolls and before any additional damage is applied to the mech. Just for fun, let's look at one more example so we can be super sure that we've got this down pat. Our cataphract is cruising along this open plane with a slight limp because it has a hip actuator critical hit. It enters a hex with rubble in it, which requires a piloting skill roll. The mech warrior's piloting skill is 5, which is pushed up to an additional 2 due to the hip actuator damage. While the rubble hex triggers the roll, it's a plus 0, so no additions to the roll there. The final piloting skill necessary to keep the cataphract from falling is a 7 plus. After a roll of 10, it looks like the cataphract stands to fight another turn. Good job, little cataphract. 
In a lot of ways, piloting skill rolls are very similar to dealing with attack modifiers. It's just a matter of remembering when rolls need to be taken, sorting out how many need to be taken, and then adding the appropriate modifiers before the roll. Like anything else in Battletech, the more you do it, the better and faster you're going to be at it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit all the buttons, like, subscribe, so on and so forth. Seeing numbers slowly go up feeds my insatiable need for attention. Thank you to the Ko-Fi supporters who are taking that extra step to directly support the channel and keep the lights on around here. Take care, happy gaming, and go make the world a slightly better place today and tomorrow.